And the CEO of Pilot Flying J gives his explanation of the FBI and IRS raid at the headquarters of the Knoxville based truck stop chain. Well, today, Jimmy Haslam brought members of the media into the company's boardroom taking questions from reporters. Six News reporter Samantha Manning has more in tonight's top story. Gene Pilot Flying J CEO Jimmy Haslam says there is a criminal investigation underway. He says the raid had to do with unpaid rebates to what he called an extremely low number of customers, but he insists his company has done nothing wrong and says he never expected the investigation. We were obviously shocked uh, by the events of yesterday. Looking calm and confident, Pilot Flying J CEO Jimmy Haslam told a room full of reporters he had no idea that FBI and IRS agents were planning to raid the company's headquarters yesterday. For the first time since the raid, Haslam is shedding some light on what led investigators to the company's headquarters, saying they're looking into unpaid rebates for customers. Haslam insists it only involved a small amount of customers. In the total scheme of things for Pilot Flying J, we would say it's extremely low percentage. He didn't specifically address the allegations in the affidavit against him, saying that he knew all about the alleged fraud. But one trucking company I spoke with who says they were defrauded by Pilot says what they're looking for now is accountability. He talked about several employees from the diesel fuel sales team being placed on administrative leave, but he didn't say exactly how many employees that included or give their names. Now, he also talked about plans for a chief compliance officer who's meant to take a look uh, at their internal problems before federal investigators ever have to get involved like they did in this situation. There are more than 30 employees named in the affidavit who are believed to have been involved in, overseen, or supervised the direct sale of fuel to pilot customers since January 2008. I'm not presuming those guys are guilty, those people are guilty or not guilty. What I do think is they're guilty of violating how Pilot Flying J team members are supposed to act. And for that very, very reason, they're on administrative leave indefinitely. The attorney for the company that filed a lawsuit against Pilot Flying J over the weekend says it's expecting at least six more companies to join the suit by the end of the week. They say the federal investigation led to Pilot customers now taking a closer look at their finances and realizing they may have been shortchanged on rebates. Atlantic Coast Carriers filed a lawsuit in Knox County Circuit Court saying the company was damaged by Pilot's misrepresentation of rebate amounts. One of their attorneys in Georgia spoke to us by phone about how much money they believe their client is owed. Well, it's a significant number. We think it's into the six figures, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. We represent several other carriers uh, throughout the country who have had similar experiences. Samantha Manning broke this story on social media today and joins us now live from the pilot headquarters in West Knoxville. Samantha, what's the latest? Kristen, the attorney is claiming that Pilot Flying J is obstructing justice by contacting those companies who were allegedly defrauded by Pilot. He believes it's stopping those trucking companies from getting the money that's rightfully owed to them. Haslam's speech this morning opened the Scopolitis Transportation Industry Seminar in Indianapolis. Six News reporter Samantha Manning was there for the address. She has more from Haslam and the trucking industry in tonight's top story. Plans for the transportation seminar here in Indianapolis have been in the works for the last year, but it was only two weeks ago that Pilot Flying J CEO Jimmy Haslam was named as the first guest speaker. The event's organizers say that Haslam wanted to come here to personally address the trucking industry and brief them on the status of the investigation. It was humbling, it's embarrassing. Talking to a crowded room of around 400 trucking executives, Jimmy Haslam again expressed his disgust with the allegations of rebate fraud. It pains me greatly when I talk to a trucking company CEO and he says, you know, Jimmy, I just, I don't know about the trust factor. I don't know about the integrity issue. Today, Haslam revealed business dropped around one and a half percent following the raid by FBI and IRS agents in April. But many trucking companies here at the seminar say they're still doing business with Pilot and have no plans to stop. We buy the majority of our fuel from their company. I have a great relationship with them. Jimmy's doing all the right things, saying the right things as he should. But it was clear some members of the trucking industry are still skeptical. The president of the American Trucking Association asked questions on behalf of the trucking industry. There are several suggestions in the federal affidavit that you personally were aware of, of the scheme to underpay rebates to some of your customers. 
Were you aware and did you participate in any way? Yeah, absolutely not. And I will say that again, absolutely not. We're in the wait and see mode. How uh, do they actually make good on all those promises? And during his address today, Jimmy Haslam said Pilot Flying J hasn't had very many issues with creditors, saying the company is still working well with banks and even oil companies despite the investigation. Reporting in Indianapolis, Samantha Manning, 6 News. Tonight, the culmination of whistleblower testimony, secret recordings, and thousands of documents has led to guilty pleas from two officials with Pilot Flying J. And from what we've heard today in the court, this could be just the beginning. In our top story, Six News reporter Samantha Manning was the only reporter in the courtroom this morning, and she joins us live with details on the story she broke. Gene, today we heard from the first two Pilot Flying J employees to admit guilt in the federal investigation of the company. The two employees told the judge they're pleading guilty to knowingly taking part in a plan to defraud trucking companies out of money owed from rebates. Samantha Manning was in the courtroom all day and was the first to break this big story. She joins us now live from the federal courthouse with details. Samantha. Kristen, all three Pilot Flying J employees pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit mail fraud, making a total of five workers so far who have admitted guilt in the alleged rebate scam. But while each of the three defendants were willing to go before a judge today and explain what exactly they've done wrong, they weren't as willing to talk to us. Mr. Clark, is there anything you'd like to say to the trucking companies you admitted to defrauding? Are you hoping the judge will be lenient in your sentencing? Just like with the previous five former Pilot Flying J employees, these latest two told a judge they admit to taking part in a conspiracy to deceptively reduce rebate amounts for customers. As part of their plea deals, both Janet Welch and Michael Scott Fenwick are only held responsible for customers they directly handled. Well, a federal judge gives final approval to a settlement in the class action lawsuit against Pilot Flying J. As you know, the Knoxville-based truck stop chain has been facing lawsuits after claims it cheated corporate customers out of rebates on diesel fuel purchases. Six News reporter Samantha Manning joining us live from Little Rock, Arkansas, where this morning's hearing happened. Samantha. Gene, the judge's ruling is a big win for a pilot flying J today because it means the majority of the trucking companies involved in that alleged rebate scam will no longer be part of ongoing lawsuits. Now, the settlement applies to about 5,800 trucking companies, and many of those customers have already been receiving some of the money owed to them as part of this agreement. This is the way the civil justice system is supposed to work. Attorneys on both sides expressing relief today after a U.S. District Court judge in Little Rock, Arkansas, gave final approval of the class action settlement. The agreement says that Pilot will pay back all money owed from unpaid or underpaid fuel rebates dating back to 2005, plus 6% interest. Everybody is going to get like 117% is, is the average uh, of of their losses. In court, attorney said it's estimated Pilot owes about $85 million. The diesel giant has also agreed to pay attorney's fees and the cost of all the audits as well as an incentive package as part of the deal. They were committed to do the right thing. Where there were things that hadn't been handled property, properly, they were committed to make them right to pay in a fair and reasonable way. But Pilot Flying J's legal troubles are far from over. Seven employees have already pleaded guilty in criminal court to fraud charges, and attorneys say they don't expect it to end there. There will be charges brought. There will likely be more. Despite those guilty pleas and the settlement agreement, attorneys for Pilot Flying J still insist that CEO Jimmy Haslam knew nothing about the alleged scam prior to April's FBI raid of the company's headquarters saying his voluntary appearances before the press are indicative of his innocence. If in fact he had any liability or guilt, I suggest to you that no man in his position would have done that. So that clearly and unequivocally suggests that he knew absolutely nothing. Now there are still between 15 and 20 lawsuits against Pilot Flying J still pending by other trucking companies and there were 146 opt-outs from this settlement agreement and finally of course that criminal investigation is still ongoing. Reporting live from Little Rock, Arkansas, Samantha Manning, 6 News.